What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Damas here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to draw curvy women yet once again. I've talked about it once before and I've been getting hit up about doing it again, so here we go at a different angle. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to start doing is drawing these weird dragon scale shaped now these dragon scale shapes are going to be the foundation of your legs and part of the torso so really just sketch it out you don't have to really set up your custom brush or anything like that we're just sketching it out and just really just have some fun so like i said draw some dragon scale shapes and it just really pops out so just sketch them out be slow doesn't matter how rough you are because usually when you make it very rough looking then you're able to interpret a lot of different shapes and you can also think about this shape as a dragon pick or not dragon pick guitar pick if you will um, and just have some fun and then you do it again for the bottom set of the legs just kind of like overlap it and um, it just really shows and then when you're doing like the parts of the actual legs and you can just close them off and make it more into that bowling pin peanut style looking type of thing but just to get the whole initial shape of the legs just to that huge dragon scale and then on the bottom set where the calves are at then you can just do them kind of again in a way it just depends on what way you want to do it but still dragon scale type of thing kind of peanut bowling pin and then just really just figure out the type of angle that you want your character to be at because you can draw women at so many different angles and it can get so complicated so quickly but really just rough sketch it out and it depends on what style you're drawing if you're going for more realism then this might not be helpful to you if you're drawing more cartoony or pinup or anime style then this one will um, I'm not gonna focus really on the toes this time around more of just the legs waist and bust and maybe a little bit of the arms but um, that's what you really need to focus on when it comes to drawing the parts of the body because these are possibly the hardest parts to get going properly for anyone just because it's not easy and just really just focus on those bowling pins slash peanuts slash uh, dragon scale type things guitar picks and just uh, joining them together and you can always go back and delete the lines that you don't want to see anymore and then just have some fun with it now when it comes to the waist to the bust and the arms you really want to plan out what you're doing by just rough sketching it as you see here i'm just doing a little bit of erasing here where i want the waist to start going back up and again i've said this so many times pretty much just make uh, like a giant dorito guitar pick or upside down triangle if you will and uh it'll really start showing out and don't be afraid to use circles those really do help out a lot when you're making the part of the body me i'm just sketching it out but realistically when you start using circles for this part part of the body it really does help out and it, like i said i'm not really going for realism more for just cartoon style and um, it really does show if you just really just rough sketch it out and just figure it out and if you have a guide then do not be afraid to use that guide because it's always good to have a reference look up images on google or instagram and look at models and see how their bodies are posed and then just have the image to decide and practice drawing them it really does help out a lot with your styles um, when I was taking figure drawing back in college I learned that looking at someone and then just drawing them over and over and over again general practice really does help out a lot so just doing rough sketches of people all the time will help you build your own character you don't have to finalize just realistically just rough sketch them and just rough sketch them and rough sketch them till you get it drilled in to a point where you won't need references you can start drawing them on your own and it really does help and when it comes to the arms it's always usually these big long tube things or noodles whatever you want to call them peanuts and um, you just implement them onto the body and you figure out how you want your character to be standing if you want to be holding your hip a hand behind most of the body just trying to look good that's what you realistically need to do and it will always come together as long as you just rough sketch it out like I said we're not aiming for perfection this is just a rough sketching tutorial here and um, you can really make a body look pretty decent and as you can see this image right here is coming along pretty nicely it's not too hideous but um, you can do so much with a character like this you can make it become like a bikini model or just someone who's just standing there fully clean you can reduce the breast size if you wanted to and do whatever you want but when it comes to women like this you really want to focus on the curves but let's get on to the next character and again on my second character what I want you to really focus on this one is the bowling pin idea and the Dorito dragon scale idea so when I first start off with this character what I do is for her legs I usually start with the legs is I draw an upside down bowling pin and then I start to divide the bin into what the legs should look like so as you can see this is a very ugly looking bowling pin as you can see and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw <clears throat> excuse me a line all the way through the legs in a leggish fashion if you will 
and um, it really does show through. Um, usually, you always draw where the grown area is going to be at, um, like the underwear line, just like that. And then you can start from where the center point where you think is the best place to put it, depending what angle your character's standing at, to draw her cent central leg, the leg that's sticking out front. And you can do what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick a leg behind her other leg just to show that she's standing at a type of angle or a pose, if you will. And it can show a lot of cool details and things like that when you're just rough sketching it out and like I said again earlier make sure you just rough sketch it out these are just rough sketch tutorials and practice makes perfect and realistically there we go I have really good looking legs right there and then now I can start on the top part by adding the weird Dorito shape or the weird triangle thing um, once you find your waistline you can begin and you can see exactly what I do here with this Dorito because it really does help you form the upper layer of your character depending how you want your character to look. Uh, mine, I'm gonna make mine a bit more chunky, a bit more thick for my character. She's not gonna be super slender. She's just gonna be a nice healthy woman. And I'm gonna make sure that her features aren't well overdeveloped or overshowing and things like that. Just kinda be really moderate with my character, not super ginormous breasts and just have a good fun time with my character. This character's gonna be kind of in a swimsuit, if you will. And um, realistically, just like I keep, just keep on saying, never gonna stop saying it, just rough sketch it out. Circles, bowling pins, peanuts. Those are the shapes that you wanna go with. Noodles and tubes and things like that. Shoots and ladders. That's what you wanna make your characters have when you're creating them because it really does help form your character. If you're someone who needs to rough sketch out your character before you do anything, then this is definitely the process that you should follow. Um, it was drilled into me, like I said earlier, back in my finger drawing classes where we had to draw the characters and it really did help us develop our overall initiative when it came to creating characters on our own and um, that's pretty much it realistically just have some fun with your design and your development like your design and just figure out what makes you happy when you're making your character for me this character was very basic and just realistically just shape it out just sketch it out I'm not gonna finalize anything but that's pretty much it when it comes to making your curvy characters. But this is your boy Domus here at Comments Graphics. I hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe. Your boy, out.